New Mexico has 35 state parks, and many of them are centered around lakes, or technically, reservoirs. Because of this, I think many people just think of them as boating and fishing destinations. But if you look just a little closer, many of these parks have hidden secrets that deserve exploration. Clayton Lake State Park is a prime example of this. I doubt that it's being caught on film. But as I walk, the number of grasshoppers here is incredible. There are just thousands of them fluttering out. You can probably see a few popping up in front of me, but it's incredible. Pretty well camouflaged. There's one of the millions of grasshoppers here at Clayton Lake State Park rock here and this rock wall makes me wonder if this area wasn't used at some point as a like a livestock pen or something like that judging how these trees are actually in the water on the other side it appears that the lake is actually pretty high right now a pair of bald eagles right there Wish I had a better camera for everybody. I'm not sure the camera is good enough to pick this up, but that is a bald eagle flying right over the lake here looking for fish. Really make my video, dude, if you dove down and got a fish. He didn't. I think this is one of the spots where our eagle friends may like to hang out, especially given the awesome view and hunting grounds that they have. Just came across these high up in these cottonwood trees, but you can see all around them how defoliated the tree is these are tent caterpillar nests pretty destructive to the trees but the birds like the caterpillars this is a classic example of an ecotone where several ecosystems come together we have a marshy area a river area Kind of a very small forested bosque area right out onto grasslands. Here's another rock structure. I'm not sure what this would be, but I, I think again it's probably a livestock pen. It's not a house because it's on a hill and it's crudely constructed. Also think it's probably livestock pen because there's really not many trees to speak of to build a fence. Sometimes if you just stop in a place and look carefully, you see more than if you just keep moving. For example, the most obvious thing is that white streak there. Obviously, uh, some birds of prey. But just above it, you see some cliff swallow nests. And then even further up, I don't know what forms all these holes in the cliff. But one cliff, a whole bunch of interesting little things. A friend of mine who lives on the East Coast and watches our videos is always surprised by the differing landscapes in New Mexico and a lot of people don't realize that New Mexico has prairies as well we are in north uh, eastern New Mexico near the Oklahoma border yep New Mexico borders Oklahoma and here's your evidence that we have prairies I'm not really sure. I'm having trouble identifying it, but this looks like a fruit tree, almost like an apple tree. And if we come around here, this looks like an old grape arbor. 
And then if we continue panning around, it's a nice flat spot. I'm wondering if this area was a homestead of some sort. And those grapes and apple trees are what's left. I'm not really sure. Yeah. So this is the spillway for Clayton Lake. And if the lake ever overflows, this is where it comes out. But what's interesting is this was built by heavy equipment. And as they were building it, they didn't realize that they were driving over dinosaur tracks. It wasn't until much later that when this area eroded and was washed away that each one of these impressions that you see down below, over 500 of them from four different dinosaurs, were discovered. This is one of the best preserved dinosaur trackways in the world. It's called a dinosaur highway. Deal with, but the more pointed tracks are the meat eaters, and the more blunt tracks are plant eaters. Probably in this case, something like a hadrosaur. These circular things are worm burrows. Worm burrows. And then this track is from a large carnivore of some sort, they think. This is evidence of a uh, dried mud puddle. So this area was obviously muddy, which is why we have so many tracks here. Shadow is a little rough right here, but that's the imprint of a plant-eating dinosaur, a three-toed plant-eating dinosaur. Yeah. 